Hi, my name is Arindam De and I am the student of I Indian Cyber Security Solutions Winter Training Ethical Hacking Batch 2018. Today I am going to show you how to exploit Windows 10 with the help of WinRAR. In this video, in the in this video, this is an educational purpose video. In, with the to exploit windows 10 with the help of winrar we need some thing we think we should so we should know first we have we have we need um, kali linux we need kali linux second the victim os or the windows 10 os should be installed with winrar and third and the most important thing is that uh, we we have to uh, the winrar have to install on victim os uh, on victim os so let's start here it is my kali linux os in this os i have opened two terminal one is matters um, one is metasploit metasploit and second one is uh, if config to show my ip then we have to then let's start then how to do how to exploit windows 10 with the help of winrar first we have to search uh, search no uh, search win win winrar it will take some time to find the module from the database here it is here it is a module which which he has found from the metasploit database then we have to use this module to use this module we have to type the command use then copy the module and paste it down here it is there it is the module has loaded then we have to set the payload then we have to type the command set payload windows slash meter printer meter printer slash reversed tcp then the payload has also said then we have to set the l host l host means the local host ip address means the kali linux ip address then we have to set the kali linux ip address then we, so we have to type the command l set l host then copy the ip then copy the ip address and paste it down then press enter then press then type the command exploit exploit the malicious code or the malicious zip file has been created on this location so let's see go to the place uh, computer uh, slash root dot msf4 local here it is here it is the malicious code or zip file we have to rename the malicious code or zip file we have uh, why we have to remain rename the malicious code and zip file we have to remain the malicious code and zip file because if we put this if we give this with that malicious code with this name that victim will be think what he has given it is a it is it is safe for my pc or it is safe for my computer or desktop or laptop or not the victim will think about it but if we rename if we rename this file like uh, or with any game patch or with any software patch then the victim will not think twice that it is uh, it is safe or not he, he will think that yes it is a game patch or it is a game or it is a software patch or it is a software he will click and open so let's rename the file here i am renaming with microsoft office microsoft office 2013 here it is here uh, sorry sorry Here it press the rename button and it is has renamed then i have to do a little more job then i uh, have to do a little more job like we have to open the uh, listener port 
to open the listener port we have to use we have to type the command use l multi exploit multi handler then again we have to set the same payload which we which i have said I have set for that to creating that uh, malicious code or malicious for that same payload I have to set here it is then again I have to set the L host then copy uh, before I uh, copied that uh, that IP address now I have pasted it then no, I have set the payload then I have to type the command exploit then press enter here look here the uh, here the reverse tcp handler or that listener port is started on this port number with this ip uh, and with this port number then i have to place that um, malicious code or that file to the victim os then copy the malicious uh, malicious file here i am doing in vm1 that's why i have to copy this malicious code first onto my desktop then i have to then I can copy it into the victim OS. So here it is. Here it is the Windows 10 victim OS with the with installing WinRAR. Then I have to paste that uh, uh, Microsoft Office 2013 that um, malicious code or file. Then I have to then the victim will think, oh, that this is a my my Office 13 uh, patch or uh, Office 13. It is itself an Office 13 setup. Here it is. Here he he or she will open that uh, WinRAR. After opening that WinRAR, he will think that oh, this is a readme text file uh, let's see what happened if I open if he or she open the file the file will not open and look and look here it in this in this car in the Linux part here that meter Peter session one has opened open that means that uh, that means the connection has established then we can uh, the, the connection and exploit has established on the like uh, Windows 10 or the victim for so we have to run the uh, we have to for foreground for foreground that uh, back uh, that meter printer session first we have to see the session uh, sessions and session id then we have to use that command so sessions here it is here it is the session id type of session information and contact connections from which uh, from which connection to which connection it is go from which connection to which connection to it is going through and from which port are it is follow huh? so we have to type that command to foreground to foreground the session is a c s s i o m sessions minus i and give the session id then press enter here it is the meter Peter session one has loaded what is meter Peter? meter Peter, it is an interpreter between linux color between kali linux to the mm, victim os so if you are thinking that uh, originally has uh, originally that um, session has uh, loaded or that windows has exploited or not then you can if you want to get sure that uh, you originally has that um, windows has exploited then we have to type that command this info then press enter you can you can see the all details the computer name which type of OS it is which language it is using in which domain it is architecture login or log on users how many how many users are there in that windows you can see then you can press that command cell cell and if you press enter then you can go you can access that command prompt you can access the you can take the uh, privilege access of the command prompt of the victim os you can you can you can you can get you can if you press help button help command in the meter printer session you can you can see there is many help command which we which you have which command which who command will help you to 
uh, which command will help you to get the axis of that um, victim ways or which type of things you can doing here it is that command so thank you for thank you for watching this